In the UK, domestic heating accounts for about 20% of the total greenhouse gas emissions, so it's a very significant percentage. Therefore, domestic heating has been prioritized by the UK government as one of the ways to reduce carbon emissions and hit the carbon reduction targets. In 2011, we published our Greater Manchester Energy Plan and set out quite challenging targets for heat generation within Greater Manchester. To generate electricity, we had to look at how the grid was currently operating. And within the UK, the peak times of the grid were getting towards its maximum capacity. So we needed to find a way that we could generate low carbon energy, fit it into the existing grid, but also smooth out the peaks of the demand curve within our energy system. The Smart Communities Project is a demonstration project funded by NATO which aims to demonstrate and trial new domestic green heating technology combined with a smart ICT platform to enable balancing of electrical demand across the national grid. Working as a consortium on this project has proved real successful. The consortium has delivered over the first few months of the scheme several successful installations of the heat pumps. We're looking at continuing that over the next two years to do up to 600 and it's really important that a collaborative working pattern between all the stakeholders is achieved by good project management overall. What's really benefited the project in Greater Manchester is having a project management office located here within the city and this allows us to overcome any difficulties and barriers. It allows for improved communication and increased trust and I think this has been a real boon to the success of the project. Generally it's been a really positive project for both sides and I think it bodes well for future Japanese-UK cooperation.